Okay, I'm I'm taking a little bit of a deviation from the uh, classical thing that I do in this year because the sift that we're learning right now seems to have an undercurrent that needs something that needs explanation. And I would like to just a little bit of exploring on this subject because I believe most people have very little information on the subject. I'm going to say over the um, halacha and um, I think that the halacha just like is an amazing halacha. We have a discussion, and we discuss this many times, about your chiv of, of Kriya Satira to hear Laini. Right? Is there really such a chiv to hear Laini? Oh, okay. If you don't want that, okay, fine. I have a class. It's more important. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's the subject. Now, the, I'm reading right now, I'm just going to read the Machaber Shulchan Aruch, and we'll see. We have lightning going on right now in Shul. That's what's going on. And this guy wants to do something else. And the question which we discussed last week is, can he do something else when lightning is going on? And we discussed that the, the undercurrent of the halacha was, do not disgrace the Sefer Torah by doing something else. That was the... That was the subject of the halacha that we're learning. Now, and, and here we're going to have, this is the part which is the most amazing. We're in, we're in Skuf Mem Vav Siv Beis. V'yesh um, matirim ligrois bolachash. There are those that say that you're allowed to learn quietly. There's a term, v'yesh amem v'shim, v'yesh asar, v'tzai si, v'tzai 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 You're allowed to talk and learning. I didn't make this up, I'm reading, by the way. V'yesh matirin, l'misha tairasim nasa. A person that tairasim nasa is allowed to do that. V'yesh matirin, l'misha niftach sefer mach, the part of mar atosh, en roitzu l'shmo, v'sefer tairah, likrois, v'mas chalikrois, you're allowed to do that. V'likrois, shtay mikra v'echot targum. If you want to lay something which is uh, in line with that which is going on, so it doesn't, it's not like you're callous to what's going on. You're doing the in-depth version of what they're doing, the cursory laning on. You're doing Shnai Mikalech Targum while they're doing Kriya Satira. So then, Shari. You my mother? You my mother? What's the subject over here right now? So the answer, the question, the answer is since I'm doing what they're doing, so it's not a disgrace. If everybody does it, if nobody should listen to the, listen to the, to the creator. Everyone does their own standing up without a lot of listening. What do they uh, you know, because the lady has to be done. You're instead of becoming a dentist, we should have made you a mashkiach in a yeshiva. I agree. <laughs> okay, but um, since we did it, so I'll try to answer the question. Whether the person is doing the right thing or the wrong thing, what is the subject of the sif? So whether he should have done it before or not, the question is, are you being callous to that which is going on? But I'm an individual. I would like to share with you something. I just, I, everybody here, I'd like to share with you the following story. This is an amazing story. And I think... Everybody has a lesson to be learned from this story, and I don't believe anybody will have the same lesson to learn from this story. There's somebody who today is from the Gedele Ador, will na be nameless in this story to you. And when he was a Bachar, he used to learn both a lot of us, Moda, and he struck upon a plan that would be a good idea to learn very late at night. And he would go and dive in the Shtibo, and come to first set, he would save some time. And this way, everything worked out. He would get more learning done within 24 hours. But I wasn't sure if this is the right thing to do. So he went to the Chazanish. And he asked the Chazanish, could I do this? And the Chazanish said, Eli, what did the Chazanish say? The Chazanish said, you could do it. If you learn better like that, do whatever makes you learn better. So here you have this star bachar in yeshiva. All of a sudden, starts missing chakras. So comes along Gil, 
and tells him, that's right. So what did the guy say? That's right. So the, so the, so the Mashiach was no slouch. He says, don't pull that one on me. I was going to ask the Chazanish myself. So the Bokhar said, go and ask him. So the Mashkiach, yes, take it easy. So the Mashkiach goes to the Chazanish and says to him, is it true that you told this Bokhar that he could dive in the Shtiba and doesn't have to come to Yeshiva? And the Chazanish looked the Mashkiach in the eye and said, yes. Now what happened? Yeshiva. So what about Yeshiva? So the Chazanish said, if you feel it's detrimental for the Yeshiva, then tell him no. But the Bokhar came to ask me a question for his growth in Torah, is he allowed to do it? And the answer is yes. That doesn't mean that you as the Mashkiach don't have a right to overrule that for other Cheshbonis. Okay? I think this is a fantastically important story. So yeah, now, but who is he? But who is he going to listen to? He's going to listen to his mashkiach, or he's going to listen to the chazanish? Who is he going to listen to? Well, the mashkiach was going to come back and say the chazanish told me I should tell you to David and Yeshua. <laughs> yeah, Mashkiach's but the chazanish no told slouch. me. What? But the chazanish told me that I could that I that I could oh, do one it. Second, one second, one second. Let us, <laughs> let's let's stop and think about this story. I think it's a very important story, right? Now the chazanish. Told that to the Mashiach. The, the Mashiach has to go now and do some soul searching and decide is this really, you know, if this is Taka really the best thing for this Bokhar to do? Is it really detrimental to the Yeshiva to the extent that we should have this Bokhar be, lose out on his Limonatayah for the Tibur? That's a serious, a serious issue. Maybe the Mashkiach himself will rethink the issue. This is not like, you know, across the board. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share this with you, and, I, I, and I, this is an amazing subject um, that needs also to be explored, but it's a halachic subject, so I'll just mention it to you. Um, I had a certain circumstance that there was an older person that had a close relative that died, and that older person was not in the best of physical health. And I passed him, don't tell him, and he shouldn't sit shiva. And we're going to wait till after shloishim, and then we'll tell him, and then shiva will be just for one day. So all of you guys would throw eggs at me. That's why I always speak to people like, uh, they say all these things on Zoom, because they haven't been fair to throw eggs on Zoom yet. They haven't figured that one out yet. <laughs> so, but Lamaisa, it's Allah and Shulchan Aruch. Not only that, and Shulchan Aruch says you're not allowed to tell somebody that somebody died. Only only sons, this is what says Shulchan Aruch, only sons because they have to say Kaddish, not even daughters. Now, why do we do what we do today? I'm not going to discuss. And why do we have Ram Kohen going out? All this works out. But conceptually, one is not supposed to be telling anybody, but well, my father, Eka Paras Mushkova, told me that Rav Ruderman told him that when he was learning in Slabotka, Rav Ruderman got a letter from his father that he died, and he should sit Shiva. And the Alta from Slabotka read the letter, and he withheld it from Rav Ruderman to Ben He's in the middle of learning. And Rav Ruderman said that he was very grateful. Okay, now, um, what each is really an individual case. What each, you have to know the person to, to well, be the able alta to from Sabat knew the person. Okay, so that's yeah. I, that's, I didn't, I just saying what we we would think that the most important thing is to say Kaddish, right? Who says, who says, the Hankin. It was the Golodar in America in the 1960s, something, I forgot what year he was lifted in. He said as follows, and are you beer, you're going to laugh at this. So many people here probably won't, maybe Shepherd, you'll also be able to laugh at this. I don't know how many people will be able to laugh at this. He said as follows, if it would be up to me, I would make two changes in the Alochas and Shulchan Aruch. Number one, 
I'd have people say Kaddish for 12 months instead of 11. And number two, I would abolish saying Kaddish on Shabbos. Why is that? Because in his times, people only came to Shul and they had to say Kaddish. So have them say Kaddish for another month, they'll come to Shul for another month. <laughs> right? And people saying Kaddish was so important, they drove to Shul on Shabbos. So if it was up to me, right? Are you, are you, is that true? That's what happened? 100%. So we have, we can't hear you, but we know. Yisker, Yisker and Kaddish, I saw. What? Yisker. People drove yisker, to Shul yisker also, to, say, to say Yisker. You came with your special Shabbos pocketbook. Kaddish, yeah. You came with your special Shabbos pocketbook to say Yisker, right? On your Kippur. I knew a man who used to drive on Shabbos to hear a Yiddish drasha. Ah, okay. Okay, I knew a man who used to go to the Yiddish theater on Shabbos too, right? There's all different kinds of people out there. But anyways, and anyways, the, the bottom line is what people think is the most important is not necessarily the most important. That's that's just an akuda that I, that I wanted to share over here. And um, you have to know what's better for the author, what's better for the tzibor, and the one who's in charge has to make that that decision without any negias, which is not an easy thing to be done. Now, the person was learning, and I'm going to quote you right now, the Mishnah Mura, out of line. It says, Misha Tarasu Nasa, that means somebody who's not Mavaka Tarasu for anything else, so he's allowed to do this. So he said, well, why didn't you learn some other time? He was learning something else. I'm going to tell you something, Gil, okay? Since, since you're in the Mashkiach mode, I'm going to be in the Rosh Hashiva mode, okay? Rabar and Cutler, was in the base Medrash in Lakewood between Kabbalah, Shabbos, and Mayrib. Yes. And there was a bocher being Mavis Sedgo. And Rabban went over to him and said, Bittel Torah, you could be learning a block tomorrow now. What are you doing being Mavis Sedgo? you Mavis Sedgo when you're toasted. You're not supposed to be Mavis Sedgo now. These are prime hours. So, but you do it at a time, which is not prime hours, when you're falling off your feet, when you're eating breakfast. It's not this way, not when you're sitting in the base matter. You know saying? So this guy's a super guy, and he's Tairoso in Nosai in the real sense, and he wants to learn the Shlai Mikra during Kriya Tairo. You know, the guy learns slowly, and he can do it quickly. He can do it two and a half all years while this guy's, well, this guy's just saying his uh, Mishabera, you know, whatever. Okay? I mean, so, officially... Officially, if that be the case, so therefore, then you can you can you know that the Baal Kriya uh, in the shul is gonna is gonna lay it at ten o'clock and finish approximately. That's the average ten thirty. So why do you even have to be in the shul? You can be in your own house. You can just a mikra and 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 you you can fulfill your uh, your mitzvah. You don't even have to come to shul to hear the Kriya. Okay. Uh, uh... Uh, first says, who says you have to go to Shul to hear Kriya? That's what we're going to learn about that. That assumption which you had, maybe not as holy as you think. Here you go. You're falling right into it, okay? This is what we're probably we're going to, partially what we're going to talk about today. These are assumptions in Yiddish type, and I just want to make it clear. It's very important that we have these assumptions, and even though they're not necessarily all correct la but they this is what gives us the parameters that keep us on the straight and narrow. You know, it's, it's, not it's not necessarily always whether it's, whether I'm really mechuyiv to do it or not mechuyiv to do it, that that's uh, what a person is supposed to be doing. And uh, most of the time, people who would, 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 if they knew what the halacha is, they would abuse it in many situations. That's why a lot of times halacha is, you're not wearing kemif, ne'am, or it's, etc. Anyways, so this is what the Mechaber says. Let's just finish the Mechaber. V'yesh matir v'mishet tarasa v'nasai v'yesh matir and extend it to shaymik of the chotav v'shas kiyotzah tarasa shari. Why is that permissible? Says the Mishnah Mura. Uh, let's just see Mishnah Mura test. V'mishet tarasa v'nasai hainu afilo hechad ika asari detzayis eno mutu lumu v'shas kiyotzah now listen to these words. He doesn't waste any time. The fact that you're learning Kailo, that's not enough. What are you smiling about, Yis? 
It is that people that are on pension aren't in this category. I'm sure that's all that you do is sit and learn, right? Can I have next to tennis? Anyways, let me check on it. Tom, she does know. This feel like you would check for it. Okay. Now, um, uh, you and Olive. Since Shnai Mikavecha Targum is Me'eng, I don't know what the word I translate exactly, but it's it's akin to that which the Tzibur is doing. Even though you're not abreast to him, so here. Now, I'm not right now discussing the halacha and Gil's issues that we'll deal with at some other time. What about Kriya Zatara? No, it's this subject, this Mishnabura is speaking about affronting the Sefer Torah by being occupied with other things. When are you going to Kriya Zatara? Now, you could be mad and say, ah, that's not a kasha. We're talking about somebody heard it before, somebody's going to hear it later, and there's some of the Akhrayim that are busy in that area. Okay, but we have over here Aloha, which seems to say the simple reading of Aloha is that they don't decree a term. Anybody disagree with that reading? I hope you I all just, are mute. I just wanted to clarify, I just wanted yeah. to clarify that it looks like the Shnai Mikra is not necessarily a Torah Sarim Nasa, it could be anybody. That could be. I'm not right now getting involved in that. Oh, in that oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. But 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 the point of, the point is that is clearly the issue of the Sif and Shulchan Aruch totally flies in the face of the assumed obligation that a person has to hear Kriya Satira. And I can't. I'm not, again. I'm not saying it's not possible to infer and say that we're talking about that the guy heard it before. He's hearing later, and some of the point. I'm, I'm not arguing that. But let's see what we have going on over here. Okay, <coughs> this is this this is a uh, this is the olive of, of where I start. So now, what I would like to um, address this issue a little bit of why is a person obligated to hear Kriya Satoya? What were they talking? Limotora. You shouldn't go three days. Without uh, without learning Torah, you know, um, I gave at the office. You ever heard that expression? Yeah. There's such a thing called mamodis. He assured that people people should bring a carbon and they shouldn't be standing there. So we have ten guys over there that they are the mamodis and they're there. And it's instead of me, right? You could do this vicariously or not vicariously you have somebody else do it for you it's not really vicariously so it has to be that the tzibor did something does it or does it have to be that the yachid did something bit tzibor you got two two stardom of the child over here Chazal said that there should be kriya satari bit tzibor but if I'm not part of the tzibor I think it's an Indian of Kavod Torah that it should be done in the Sibor. Like if it's just one person in Shul and he was the Balkora, it would not be Kavod Torah. True. I, 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 I followed what you said, but I don't get, and, and therefore what? What's the, what's the end sentence of your thought? So therefore what? I'm trying to say that I, it might possibly, a personal reason why you have to read this in this way with a minion in the shul is not so much for the minion, but for Kavod Torah itself. It's an minion to show the Kavod of the Torah. So if a person didn't have a minion, he took the Sefer Torah out and he read it by himself, and then a minion came in later, does he have to hear it over? I don't fear he, he would not have to hear it over, but I mean, what he did 
I imagined would be would be considered wrong because he was not showing kavod to the Torah. He was not no, showing kavod to the yoyt? Torah. Just answer my question, not like a Jew. Was he yotze if he heard it, did it by himself? Um, he's yotze, yes. I would imagine. What do you say? He says no. He says really after yochid has to learn. It's the chiyav on the yochid. It's not covered to take out the same return for yochid. So we have a second. They should do but see It's not covered to the third. Just to be mishalet one person. So I asked him if that would be the case. What would be the halacha? Would it be yaitzer if uh, if just one person took it out? That was. I mean, I've heard I've heard there's a locker that it's not covered. Law Lenu to take out the Sefer Torah from Shul and put it into a base oval so that he should lay there. I, I read once, I, I don't know why people do it. Maybe they have a special Torah for that that's not kept in the Shul. Okay, I'm going to, going to read a Mishnah Bru, uh, not a Mishnah Bru, what it's called, Igus Moshe over here. Um, can't remember which if it is. It's only a half a page long or two. Okay. Bedover Kriyas HaTayra. I'm right now reading Igus Moshe Chelek Archa Chelek Dal Simon Chol Gimel. Bedover Kriyas HaTayra. Vare Shetzara Kol Echod Vishmoya Kol HaKriya. You have there the whole thing. Shalo yech saloi af teva achas. Can't even miss out on one word. Ubi di eved im choser teva achas. Upach zed echad. And if you missed out a pasik, im akriya hi b'sheni v'chamishi v'mincha v'shabes. If it's on one of those days, v'af b'kriya di yom tev, tali yivu k'urak tari b'giv v'psukim v'yatsa. The same person will give up psukim. It depends how many psukim you heard. The keyword shehuxer shomei avtev achas echasim will give up psukim. It's like you didn't hear the whole thing. Vavi kol shama like you didn't hear anything. Okay. Vimu kriya biyaisa will give up psukim. And if the word that you missed is called kosher because it was leading more than three psukim, im shama give up psukim shleim im yatsa. Even though that word that you heard you were yaisa, but the takana was to have. Give up sukim seven times and give up sukim three times, whatever it is. So you're Makan, you didn't hear all of the Torah, but you heard enough. I will agree as for a parasha of the Shabbos. If it's Shabbos, Hare Levad, Chiyuv, Shmias, Zayin, Kruyim. Mitzad, Shemitzad, Zeh, Hayy, Zayin, Kruyim. I have a mix as for a parasha of Hakabo Yasa, because you heard enough seven times threes. So I guess you just missed some sukim. So so terrible. Memela how you gam kein cholok ben kriya the give up zukim the kriya chabim zukim become makom a chasla pasuk she dilik tevo kolsh kein shloisha pasuk shalem she ike dim mitzad. What's the problem? I heard enough kriyim. I heard enough zukim. So I didn't hear everything. Makol anash. Okay, I hope you're all sitting down. Ari, right, sit down. <laughs> okay. Sheika din mitzad mimi kavua becholo oilam ligmor es atayra bechol shana bechana. Simcha atayra is here. Okay. We have a minig that you have to finish all of the atayra. Is this called the kriya atayra dika din? It's like a different kind of a din altogether, and it's only a minig. This is not. This is not as severe as um, I bet most of you walked into the shir thinking. Right. This is a. Uh, this is a fascinating thing. Ach she'ein lo eitzel is that you're stuck. The tzibul lo matrichin and lachzer. Then I'm a chuyiv to lay again because you missed out. Vim yesh minyan shalem shech zero. If there's a whole minyan that missed out, then yesh lahem achar atzila kishelo yeshu tirchos to the other people I heard to take out the same return and lay it again. And then he goes out the whole a whole piece. I'm not gonna get involved, but this is his initial approach. So, how important is it to hear every word? It's not part of the halacha of Kriya Satayra. It's part of the halacha of being mashlim parshiyos of imatzibur. And for some reason, even though we only know being doing shnei micha doesn't need a sefer Torah in a tzibur, 
So who says that this is part of this thing? He doesn't have any riot in this Yisoy. And uh, in other words, in English, he's scrounging around to find a real Chiyu. He says, the Chiyu is three Pesukim seven times. And if you did that, you're Mekayim, they could do the they could take on it. Okay. That's one. Now, uh, I don't know if Parrot is here, but Lev, could you, could you produce, could you produce that, uh, that thing? Take a look at this. So that was sent to the chat. So people open up the chat. That's there should be a link there to the PDF file, the four page PDF file. We have one. I don't know where it is. Okay. So I, I have over here, uh, uh, two is Binyan Shloima, where he is vehemently opposed to. Uh, Okay, do you have it? Do you have it? Outside. Outside. Is it still in the chat? What? I can't find it. It's too far away from me. I have my mobile. No, I'm asking other people. It, it All right, he sent it around. So just download okay, it. From everybody the has it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Very good. Just think of all the paper we're saving. Okay. We could plant the tree in Israel for all of us. Uh, yeah. Okay, I would like to uh, to read so the paragraph that says on page Reisha and Gimel. Um, Sibulim. That daven together, they have a chiyuv of kriyas atayim. For loy dami the prisa shma, the uchoyva kol yochid yochid. Kriyas shma is on every yochid. The shma kadosh ubochu barak the osher loy rupachis miyud. There you have an obligation to make that tefila, and just to facilitate it, you need to have a minion. However, over here, possibly the halacha was that. If you have a tzibur together, then it becomes incumbent upon them. Listen to this. The guy in my Sarav says as follows. All of you people know, I'm going to ask you the question. Okay? And you already have the hint because you know that's going to be a riot. When do we lay? Shira Shirim and Kahalas. Shabbos Chalamoy. Why don't we lay Megillah on Shabbos? Like this year? Yeah, we read a Daladamas. So why do we lay Shira Shirim and Kahalas? Not a chiyuv. Not a chiyuv. It's not a chiyu. Okay. Listen to what the Maise Rav says. The Maise Rav says a fantastic answer to the question. He says that, let's say I don't have a minion for Mikra Megillah. So what do I do? I lay to myself. Let's say I don't have a minion for Kohelis. So I don't do it. The only time that there's a chiyu is if you have a tzibur. If you have a tzibur, there's a klal, tzibur mikre adodi. The tzibur will remind each other. There's no kshash Hashem yavireno. Because on things which are a chiyu on a tzibur, there's no kshash. Now all you guys are sleeping. All you guys are sleeping. Why are you allowed to lay from a safer turn on Shabbos? What about Shem yavireno? Oh, and everybody has a McGill in the house. Anyways, this is, this is a fascinating riot. Okay? If, it's not, if it's done every week, we're not worried about him getting uh, all from Mish with it. All, all I have to say, parents, is you sound like a Swarty and Ashkenazi on saying Slichas. They do the same one every time, so they can know it by heart. We can't even read ours. Okay? That's, no, that's, but... 
What say? There's a Torah, you don't know it. You don't know it. You don't know, you don't know, but we're not worried about any if one Shabbos someone's gonna decide he wants to do it. Megillah no, is you don't have somebody do it. More, more people know the Megillah by heart than know Parsha's Viaka Pakuda. <laughs> Anyways, this is this is his raya. Um says the next paragraph. As long as you don't have people here, the Lord Shamu, Leko Chiyukal. Hilkoch, Mimela, Habrocha, Hebrocha, Levatola. It's talking about if a person lanes, take, you take out a safe return for one person, which we discussed this Juba at a different time. Now, there's just one other piece over here that I wanted to say. Venerally, um, oh, if you go to the next page, Venerally, Pedro Shalim Dalit. Love you, Ryan, as far as Zoo. These are what I would come as a ticket to your current Bishabas, the Mincha. Mishum Yoshe Kronis, a Pirish Rashi. What does that mean? Yoshe Chanuyos, Koyamais Hachol, Oishim is Kora, Veena Koran Bisheni Vachamishi, Tikin, the Gabayo, the Kriya Yisera. For the people who don't hear, Kriya Satara, Hoi. For the Kora, Hayeshe Kronis, Echidam. What kind of Yeshe Kronis, what kind of storekeepers are we talking about? What was going on? They were on Chalat? What was going on with them? The Monashach, in your Kron, Lava Besa, Kresses, Lishma, Kriya Satara. If they were people who could have come to Shul, him came, push him. But I'm a second Takonis for push him. Well, I shall have last Takono. Then he manus him. Then you hold over him. Can't have a lot says the Kriya Shekar Vesa Knesset. Just like anybody else. I miss his yaitzu to see when it does it. The Amir on Besar, the head Besar, the Rosh Hashanah. The like part of you, as I'm sure it says, you shouldn't done Isay. If you're an Oymis, you don't come, so then you yaitzu. We come up, come shots in the white cell. Okay, etc. This is this is part of this. This is a very fascinating piece. Somebody wants to uh, be involved in this this subject. But with the point over here, let's just have Shlomo Zalman in uh, a safer Halicha Shloima. This is a this is a well debated subject. This subject. Um, he says as follows. Where's the beautiful Chaim? Vinei shamati b'shem agrach mibrisk. I heard from the b'shem the Chaim from Brisk. Lachalik bechiu kriyas atayr b'shabes sheni chamish. The b'shabes the kriyas atayr of shabes zel chayv al kol yochid v'yochid. B'sheni v'chamish zel chayv es hatzibur. I just want to make this clear. Um, a person, this is a It's a fascinating question. A person is on the plane. I don't know if you remember, before Corona, people used to travel. And you go on the plane, and there was no safe return on the plane. And then there was a minion on the plane. If you were part of the minion on the plane, when you come off the plane, then could be you have a chiyuv to go to the shul in the airport and put together a minion and hear Kriya Satayr. If you were, for the people that elected to daven b'yechidus in your seat, you didn't daven b'tzibor, so that you don't have a chiyuv. L'may naf gemina. Can you be mitzvah if the guy who was a yachid for Kriya Satayr? He never had a chiyuv. And according to the Binyan Shlomo, you can't be mitzvah of him. There's not a bar chiyuv. Hello, you guys here? No, the tzibur that daven has a chiyuv of Kriya Satayra. No, no, it's only the tzibur. Yeah. All right, we're going to stop over here. I thought we were about to get more of this done. But this is an opener of a fascinating sugya.